Mate, I love doing this sort of stuff. Two nice, fresh milk caps. Get the fish on. Yes. Sort of licking your fingers. Isn't it? Well, today was all about setting myself a challenge because it's been requested a couple of times now. Come out with no food. It's just me, one fishing rod and the canoe. And the challenge is to get ourselves some food for today. So we're gonna start off by doing some foraging and then we're gonna go and catch and cook some mushrooms and some fish. Not 100% sure yet where I'm gonna to go to catch the fish. For the minute, we're out just looking for some mushrooms. The mushroom that we're looking for today is an orange mushroom, but be warned, because there are a lot of orange mushrooms. So you need to know 110% that you know that the mushroom you're looking for is the right one. Now this, this is one that you definitely don't want to be eating. I've got no idea what it is. Although it is orange, it is not the mushroom that we're looking for. So if you don't know what it is, don't even touch it. All right. And this is one that we're looking for, the milk cap mushroom. These guys only grow in these pine plantations. And there's a few telltale signs that you can look for. One is the bright orange bottom. Two would be a hollow stem. And three, if it's got these sort of greeny blue bruising on it, that's just where if you break the mushroom and then hold on to it and that turns a greeny blue within about an hour, then that's the right mushroom. You can see there, it's just greeny blue. That's the right one, but I like one's a little bit fresher than that. So we're just gonna leave that one there and go and have a hunt, see if we can find some more. This one looks a little bit fresher. But we'll keep that one for the minute. It's a little bit bruised, might be able to find fresher than that. Let's keep looking. Just remember, you want to be 110% sure before you're taking any mushrooms. What you don't want to do is be touching a mushroom that you think is okay to eat and then sort of licking your fingers and This is a good one. That one is definitely more the sort that I'm looking for. Without a load of crap and bruising on it, that would be a bloody delicious mushroom. You can see the difference in them. That's a nice fresh one. And that one is from last night. So I think I'm actually gonna chuck that one. Just keep this nice one for the minute. See if we can find some more of these really nice fresh ones. Where there's one, there's more. So hopefully there's some more down around this area. That's a nice fresh one. Take that one as well. Beautiful on the bottom. Yeah, buddy, I'm not going hungry. Let's go and get some fish. Two's enough for me, as it's only me. Two nice, fresh milk caps. No bruising, none of that sticky crap on them. They're gonna be bloody beautiful with some fish this morning. Hopefully we can hook up. Let's go fishing. Well, the wind has picked up a little bit. Hopefully the wind noise on that isn't too bad. But we're in the water. So we're gonna head out to a nice weedy patch. See if we can find ourselves a red bin. I have just remembered that I've realised that I've got my bloody glasses. It's a bit of an idiot. The wind is blowing this way, so generally all the bait gets pushed down this side as well. And that's with any lake, any, any pond. Yeah, fish on. 
Finally. <laughs> yes. We've got some food. Finally, got perch number one. We're not going hungry, but really we want two of these. We're going to carry on fishing and hopefully get two to go with our mushrooms for breakfast because I'm getting bloody starving. fish. Hopefully we'll get one more. That wind is getting full on now. Alright, I think we're going to go out there and just do one more drift back. It's getting very, very windy now, so we might have to call it. Alrighty, well, that wind is getting ridiculous. I think it's time to head in now and make some food because I'm starving. Just the one fish, but that'll do us with the mushrooms that we've got. All right, got our mushrooms, got our fish. Time to just get these a little bit clean. Can't think of a better spot, mossy log. Just be cutting these ends off, cutting any bits off that are too dirty. Get that pan nice and hot. Get a couple of fillets off of this fish. For the trees. Got to be without a doubt the tastiest fresh fish that you can eat. Get these mushrooms cut up. They smell good. Little nick cayenne pepper. Let's get these bits of fish cut up a bit. Put some water in there. Put the noodle mix in with the fish. I love doing this sort of stuff. Just gets you outdoors and makes you appreciate the outdoors as well. That's why I absolutely love it. Chuck that back on the heat in a second. Mate, you've just got to get, get outdoors and enjoy this sort of stuff. There'll probably be people watching this that think they'll find this sort of stuff a bit boring, but it's, it's stupid amount of fun and it's relaxing as well that's the number one thing that i love about it i feel relaxed after i've done something like this let us know in the comments as well if you want to see more of these challenges something a bit more in depth as well chuck some ideas down in the comment section let's get that back on the heat try and get all that flavor that red fin It's one of my favorite fish to eat, redfin. And these mushrooms are bloody delicious. Mm. I think I'm right in saying that June is the end of the season for these, so get out here, get out into these pine forests. It's perfectly legal to come out here and collect them. Just remember, no fires, you can't light your own fires, gas fires only. That is just about ready. We're done and dusted. Quick and easy challenge for today. Hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button if you're new to the channel. If you've enjoyed watching it, hit the like button as well before you leave. And I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.